So we're at a, a site called Abu Ghraib, which is near the Giza Plateau. Actually, it's, the Giza Plateau is massive. We're actually on the plateau. It's Abu Sir, in the background. And this is the place that has the fascinating round bowls. And then this thing called the Hotep. So I've been told by Yusuf of the Kemet School that Hotep means energy. And this is one of the finest examples of lost ancient high technology in action. It consists of five pieces of calcite, or heavy quartz-laden uh, alabaster of a type. But it's supposedly the only one of its kind, or the only one of its kind that's still left. This is where we definitely see evidence of a tube drill. You see the diameter of it here. And these beautiful shaped curves and what were flat surfaces. Here. This is tube drilling machining mark. Okay? And here is an edge of another one. Yep. You see? Just the edge. And here is an edge of another one. Huh? Yeah. Right there. So, if we see the process, this tube drilling was coming and scooping. Cutting the stone. Also from all the sides. So, how this piece was manufactured with that kind of technology that was never mentioned in the ancient Egyptian depictions. So, also notice that they carefully selected the stone cut it and used it so that the layers are horizontal around the entire massive uh, Hotep construction. It's also aligned to the cardinal points as in, Yusuf has just said, not true north but magnetic north. But the four cardinal directions. But not just that, as magnificent as it is, there's also evidence of ancient core drilling as well, such as this example. And actually right next to it, fortunate for us, but unfortunate for the stone, is there's a cross section. One of the two drill, or two drill uh, core holes is broken. But for us, we can see the pattern, the vertical striations, possibly, of the cutter in action. And then also these incredibly curious bowls which have holes in them. But even more significant are the ones over to this side. But these are very astonishing. Again, it's the calcite, possibly alabaster. They weren't originally in rows like this. But notice the holes that are in them. 